success right. His homework paid off, and Wimbledon is still in the league. I lived three miles from Wembley. Uh, on top of a hill, and every day I used to go to train at Wimbledon. I could see the, the Twin Towers, um, and I always was thinking, I want to be there one day. From the point of view of every player at Wimbledon Football Club, um, the achievement was actually reaching the cup final. But then realism hit home, and it was, well, you're not just coming here to enjoy the day. You enjoy the day by getting the result, and the result is obviously beating uh, Liverpool, who at that time were the team of the decade. I think they won the, the title by about 12 points. Inside their dressing room was probably the only place where there was any belief that we could actually do it. We, uh, we knew how to, to upset a few things, we knew how to enjoy ourselves and uh, what better place to enjoy yourself than cup final and winning it. And I think that that cup final gave everyone in the Wimbledon team the chance to, to go ahead and you know, progress and, and show what they're really capable of. It's funny because during you know, the run up to it, John Motson, he actually said to me, if you, if you get to face a penalty from John Aldridge, you know, he's, he's taken 13 penalties and not missed one of them this season, and uh, you know, what will you do? And in those days, there wasn't as much football on TV during the season. So fortunately for us, Liverpool, when there was football on, were the team that was generally on TV. And so I'd actually seen John, John Aldridge take a few penalties. So I had the chance to analyse his, his run-up and what he'd done. I think he took one in the semi-final against uh, Nottingham Forest. Dave Besant in the week told me that he's been watching where Aldridge puts his kicks. And I just felt that when he just hesitated, I called it his shuffle. He kind of come up, stopped. And by that time, the keeper was making his mind up which way he was going. And, and he just literally rolled it the other way. Or, or if the keeper stood still, he put it in the corner where I, I saved it. And, and that was my theory. The fact that if I could stand still long enough, he would put it to my left. Now, looking at the footage afterwards, I didn't stand still as long as I actually thought I did. But fortunately, I stood still long enough for him to put it um, in the place where I thought it was going to go. He did, and he saved it, and made history. So suddenly, it seemed like fairy tales do come true. The first time ever that a penalty kick has not been converted in the FA Cup final here, and Besson did guess right. His homework paid off.